Options. Music, full screen, resolution, quality, uh, very ultra. Thank you. Alright, not much options. Weather does not only affect your stat changes, but also how far you can see. Keep an eye on the weather display at the bottom left. Choose your mountaineer. Adventurer. As a died in the wool adventurer, you're always on the lookout for the next big challenge. Canned food. I don't know what the fuck these do. Scientist. Eagle eye. Increases camera zoom until next movement. Analysis. Analysis. Hiking staff. Alright. Uh, journalist mod. Lol. 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 Ignore negative weather the terrain effects. I'm just gonna pick adventure. Because I used to be an adventure. You dive in, down into the briny depths of the ocean in the search of lost treasure. Research long extinct culture in the deepest rainforest and unhearted ancient ruins in endless deserts. No adventure was ever big enough for you and nothing ever got in your way. Now a new challenge awaits you. A remote island long concealed behind a blanket of fog, a mountain range of which there is no record, and peaks that tower into the heavens just waited to be scaled. This is the stuff of adventure's dreams, and your chance to get your name in the history books. Normal, okay, these are locked. Can you make it to the top? The standard difficulty, challenging but doable. Kinda like your mom, chat. Confirm difficulty. Do not show this ever again. Not yet unlocked. DLC. Pog. Uh, but remember, you won't have best of the mountain until you are safely back at base camp. Until then, the mountain owns you. Alright. Route 1. Snowy terrain provides better grip on this route. Blizzard. The weather on this route is merciless. Increased effect of cold weather. Shadows and noises follow you on this route. Alright, which route? I don't know. The nights on this route are warmer than usual. Alright, I picked number two. Won't guess. Active skills can provide useful in tricky situations. Alright. As you stand at the base of the mountain, looking up at the summit, you sense that adventure awaits. The island is shrouded in mystery. Why couldn't it be found on a map for all those years? Are the rumors about a group of unknown occupiers true? Amazon lore. And who are the people that live here? As much as you would like to know, your most burning desire is to be the first to scale the summit. That's why you're here, risking your life. Alright. I got XP for reading that. Pog. Camera control. Hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse to rotate the camera. Okay. Shouldn't there like be like a pause for me to do that before the next one? Click with the left mouse button on a valid tile and add a marker to which the character should move. Another click on the goal. Start the movement. When all uh, when I right click, you remove the lost marker. Okay. Stone terrain, energy and time cost for moving, climbing depends on equipment on scanner, danger, okay. Bro. This is not the, like, most efficient of tutorials, dude. Just throw it in my face. Do one at a time. Alright. F1. Where am I? Here. Right, where am I going? Oh my god, this camera is giving me AIDS. I guess we're going up there? Alright. YOLO. There's something behind that hill. Let's go there. Generating God Seed. Sanity. <laughs> Sanity dropping. Energy. Oxygen. 
body temperature. Alright. Oh, I missed that fucking shit, dude. I should've... Fuck, I didn't know. There was, like, uh, something there. We're going places. Alright. There's an active fire pit, but not a soul around. The flames seem to be fighting the icy wind for survival. Watching the fire dance in the face of the cold is almost med meditative. You watch for it for a while and regain. Sanity is long gone. I guess energy. Alright. This doesn't seem so hard. Uh, we'll go over here. Now we'll go over here. Famous lost words, I know, but I mean... I already recovered energy, I think, before that fireplace. I think if you're not climbing up, you're not wasting energy. But I'm not sure. A little Terraria. Uh, no, I don't think so. This is more like... Oh! Hey, Fawcett, when will you put your PS5 to ease and play Return? Oh, I can't wait to see you mold over the two-hour runs. Oh, Mold's even better, I runs. can't wait until you're two hours in and the game crashes. <laughs> is the game good? Returnal? What has the... Oh, kill me, please. Review said. It seems good. Yeah, I was, I was fixing it. I'm like stalling it because I, my game capture card was annoying with the Switch. So I'm worried that it will be annoying with the PS5 too. Like, it was no sound or something. I don't know. I, but I will play it in the next upcoming two days. Very good reviews. Alright. Uh, we'll play it in the upcoming two days. Tomorrow or the day after. Tomorrow. Alright. Nearby the camp. There are a couple of empty bottled oxygen tanks. You could take the time to search the tent. Uh, Alright. Search the fucking tent thoroughly. You find nothing useful. Now what? I guess. Oh, I should've gotten this first. Wait, it's cold. You enter a cave, it's dry and sheltered from the wind. I lie down and sleep. What is the downside to lying down and sleeping? It's night time, so... Fuck it. Peaceful cave. No tent needed. Sleep briefly. I restore energy, body temperature. That's fine. <clears throat> Wolves. Level up. Choose your next skill. Left shift. Don't smash it. Okay, don't smash event it. expert. Reduces sanity loss in events. Reduced energy cost on all. Yeah. We, take, we, we pick this one. All right, I'm climbing this one. Super climber now. Is this game completely silent? That's a good fucking question. I don't know why it was so low by default. Usually they blast your headphones every time you open a new game. Oh, we got sound. All right. Shrine. Steps have been hewn into the stone, leading you to a pedestal of sorts. Some type of religious site or shrine. Maybe. You're not a particularly spiritual person, but somehow this place feels holy. It might just be your imagination, but you pray to the shine for... Uh, energy, I guess. Alright, we got some treasure over here. How far until the top? Oh my god, dude. Why the climb? But we're only halfway there. 
ruins. Nearby the camp, there's a torn tent. You could take time to search the intact tent. Uh. Fuck it. YOLO. You find some equipment. Warm cap. Oh. Alright. Easy. Easy. Alright, we take these, uh. What is this? Headbutting? The fuck is this supposed to be? A goat herd. As you reach the plateau, you spot an indigenous man. A man. He's relaxing, enjoying a meal while his goats frolic around him. When he notices you, he beckons you over. Approach the goat, goat herd. Outcome is unknown. The goat herd smiles at you and shares his provision. You thank him for his generosity. Oxygen bottle. Alright. I'll take it. And level up. Light steps. Spend more time on moving, but ignores dangerous terrain. Alright, I'll take this one. Light step two. Alright, do we take the glowing thing there or do we take this route? I feel like my energy is high enough for me not to rest over here. What the hell? Where would I go? Maybe I take this. I go here. Sprint. Reduce time cost, addition ball to game movement speed, all trains. There were headphones down here too. A golden eagle suddenly lands in front of you, it swings it wing its wings carrying its it majestically to the ground. Fascinated you watch it and it watches you too, unafraid. You can't explain it, but the encounter feels magical. Fully wrapped up in this moment, you regain warmth. Where's this fucking peak? I can't see shit in this mist. Up there. Alright, another Pepsi bottle. The fuck do I use to sprint? I'm spamming one. Fuck! There's a tent there. I'll take it. There is an active fire pit, but not a soul around. The flames seem to be fighting the icy wind for survival. Watching the fire dance in the face of the cold is almost meditative. You watch it for a while and regain energy. Fuck the tent. We have already a... Uh... In front of you, rocks and stones have been meticulously piled up to form a mound. A grave so far up here, question. Search for clues. Be careful not to rocks with your boot, there's something there. You bend down and find some old but usable equipment. Another mountaineer must be buried here. You have lots of questions and no answers. Who are they? How do they know about the island? What happened to their companion who buried them? So many questions! Take the equipment. But you are sure they won't hold a grudge against you. After all, they have no use for the equipment anymore, but you do. Plus one pickaxe. Minus ten. Oh shit. Alright, fuck it. 
Alright, legendary pickaxe. Look at the speed, the violence, the momentum. Oh shit, you reach a rocky hollow, half covered with the glacial ice. As you carefully climb over the sheet of ice into the hollow, you come face to face with a pair of eyes staring at you. you breathe in sharply. The eyes are those of a woman who is almost completely frozen into the ice. Look. Only her face and the top of her torso are exposed. The coomers. I feel the corpse from the ice. I free the corpse from the ice. I examine the corpse. Uh, why would I free the fucking corpse, bro? I just need to heat up here. I free the corpse. It takes a while until finally the corpse of a woman cloaked in furs is lying in front of you. Her skin is sallow yet flawless. You can't make out any other signs of decay either. So you briefly wonder whether she has just fallen asleep. You have heard the tale of well-preserved corpses at an altitude like this, but this one incredible. Also, in case noise, you find some equipment. Oxygen mask. Okay. I guess we use that one later. I am frozen. I will die from freezing. Unless I rest here, I want to change my location. I can't. As you climb along a crevasse in a glacier, you see an oxygen bottle together with an oxygen mask buried under a thick layer of ice. The bottle seems to be intact. I have no fucking heat for this shit, dude. Fuck it. We do nothing. It's kind of loud. <laughs> you don't say, sir. Alright, rest here boys. You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. Reminds me of your mother, chat. However, you notice a strong smell. I lie down and sleep. I follow the smell. I leave the cave. Man, why would I sleep? It's fucking daytime, dude. We're not a fucking neat. We're a mountain climber. I follow the smell. You follow the smell, but I'm gonna find anything except tufts of tur fur and bones. Do I lie down and sleep? Do I get heat back if I do that? Alright. We get some heat back, yep. Sleep long? Or sleep briefly? I'm say I, I think long. Long sleep. Because then we don't have to go during the night. Right? Nightfall. Level up. Special terrain expert. Alright. We'll do this one. Because we're now we're entering special terrain, I think. Uh, I mean, there's only one way to go. Up. When does oxygen become a problem? 5,300 meters. Death zone is 6,000. Ah. A white crevasse is blocking your way. There's, uh, there's a snow bridge that you could use to cross it, but you're not certain that it didn't stay. Uh, we can't afford to lose this much temperature, can we? Unlucky. But 
that's nothing, dude. Are you kidding me? That is nothing. I guess you stop taking damage if you run out of oxygen. We're fine, we're chilling. We gotta put on the gas mask in four, 300 meters. 400 meters. I can't fucking target this shit. As your gaze wanders up to the towering vertical rock face, your eye is caught by cast iron rings, old pittance. You tilt your head all, your way, all the way back, you can make out that the pittance lead to a small plateau. Why would anyone have gone to the effort to try and reach it? Uh, climb the wall. I climbed the wall. There must be something good. Halfway up, you look down. A fall from this height could kill you. At that moment, the pit of carrying your weight comes loose. Instinctively, you grab a crevice, crevice and cling to the rock face like an insect. With all your strength to creep up inch by inch until you finally reach the plateau and shelter in a rocky niche. Quite shaking, you discover something left behind by someone who came before you. Some equipment. Snow boots. I needed boots. All right, easy. All right, we want to go to this legendary, right? All right, how do I inventory? Tab. You have entered the death zone. Pause for a moment to prepare for the difficult path towards the summit. I will ascend as quickly as possible. Decreased energy cost for a short time. Before I amend, I will... Uh, yes, this one. Quickly as possible. We rush B. Go. A golden eagle. Alright, I want warmth. Rush beat. I'm losing energy. What happens when I'm out of energy? Not death. No, no, no. An old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly, toothless smile and motions you to sit with her to recharge your strength. You do as she suggested. Alright, we gotta go with warmth here. You encounter a mountaineer sitting uh, listlessly on the ice ground. He does not seem to notice you. I push him. I give him an oxygen bottle. I'm gonna give him an oxygen bottle. Yep, I'm doing it. The mountain is up slowly. Bows and starts carefully climb down the mountain. Not worth. Minus one oxygen bottle. Uh, okay. I guess we take this way. You enter a cave, it's dry and sheltered from the wind. Alright, we sleep. I sleep long. Long sleep. Sprinting. Am I sprinting? Really? How do you know I'm sprinting? Oh my god, I am sprinting now. Now you've done it. I cannot even go here. Go!
Go. The mountaineer you helped earlier catches up with you. He notices your injury and offers you some healing herbs. Uh, outcome is unknown. I mean, thanks. Eat the herbs to feel the strength returning to your body. Oh, thank you. Level up. Super herbs. Weakens the effect of stormy weather. Gain some oxygen back while moving on snow. Increase sanity gain in events. Uh, I weak this one. Who needs sanity? In a rocky hollow, well protected from the wind and weather. Okay, not a tent. I thoroughly investigate. Alright. I. I search for provisions briefly. Boom. The owner must have been some kind of explorer. We got, we got a thermos. What is that? Coffee? Hot tea. Alright. How do I drink these? Left click, right click to use. Alright, that's fine. We don't have time for the cave. It's daytime. While well, moving in the rough stone terrain, you step on a treacherous piece of rock, twisting your ankle. Alright, then we might as well rest. Cause it's a fucking... It's a storm. A storm is brewing, Mr. Wayne. I explore the tunnel. But it's too dark, you can't see. I step into the darkness. You crawl through the darkness on all fours. After a while, you encounter some rubble. Looks like a passage has collapsed. You can't go any further. Short nap. Short nap. Go. We're fine. We can make it if we try. This ice doesn't look very stable though. Alright. There are some vacuum flats filled with tea. Time for this, I'm gonna lose too much oxygen. Quick look around. Find nothing useful. Thanks. Alright, we have a penis over here. I'm gonna grab that. We're almost at the top. Almost at the tip of the top of the mountain. so far. There's an active fire pit, but not a soul around. Alright, we need energy. Definitely. I can't see shit in this mist. Uh, press this. See footprints in the snow in front of you. They're almost been swept away by the wind, but they're clearly human and very large, like those of a giant. Oh shit! It's a fucking yeti. And it would appear that this giant is wandering around barefoot. You follow the tracks to the crevice. With the end at the bottom of the crevice, you can make out a scrap of cloth. Did someone fall down here. You could jump across and pick up the trail on the other side. We don't climb down into the fucking crevice. We jump. Jump! You take a few steps, run up and jump, and land on the other side of the crevice. You look for footprints, but in vain. Instead, you find a bag in the snow containing a book 
about primates, the broken camera, with a roll of film in it. There are also some provisions. Not far away, there is something sticking out on the ground, a stone blade. Primitive and very long. They belong to the giant. I got canned food. Alright, great. One with the stone. Alright, dangerous terrain. Boom. Uh, Alright, it seems like we're out of energy. So we fucking pop this, I guess. What the fuck is happening? Go! I dropped it! What's happening? I don't know what's happening. Am I winning? Alright, you want me to put up a fucking tent or what? Oops. Use tent. oxygen do I have? Oh no, I gave away my tank. Do I die instantly if my oxygen runs out? What do you think? Mm, I think no. I think you start taking damage or something. Sleep briefly. Isn't that worth it? I don't know. Do I make it? Do I fucking make it? I don't fucking know. YOLO! Vivon! Your heart feels light and full of joy as you stand on the summit. The hardship of the climb already forgotten. You savor the moment. It is yours and yours alone. Then you plant your flag. Those who came after you need to know what you have achieved. Oxygen, bros. We need some oxygen. Where was it? We had to go down there. All right. Off I go then. Why doesn't it have skis for the way down? I guess it's not very skiable. You discovered a tree! 
tree hunter. You don't know how it could survive at this altitude, but the sight of it comforts you. Right, that's fucking useless, Pog. Alright. What is the shortest way there? Uh I wanna go over here. Uh oh. This is bad. I should not have given him a fucking oxygen tank. Am I fucking retarded? Fuck, I need to loot this tent over here. Right? What the fuck? Right click to stop. I was spamming right click. You doubt whether you can continue walking. Uh, sit down and rest. You close your eyes and the world turns black. Disoriented and freezing, you wake up again. Oof. Uh, shit happens. Uh, yeah, this is not looking the greatest. I've seen better outcomes. Alright, we push. Push forward. <sighs> Fuck, was that that not activated? Go. You stop breathing. The world falls into darkness. You hear a whisper. I keep breathing. You remember to breathe. In front of your eyes, the familiar alpine environment appears once again. Don't you remember the whispering? What do the voices want from you? I don't know. I'm not staying around to find out. Alright, we only have to get under 6,000, then we don't need oxygen anymore. You understand, chat? Do you understand? We're fine. Alright, I need to take this. Whatever this is, we need it. Actually, I lied. Mountains are without a doubt the most beautiful structure on earth, and no man made edifice, however magnificent it may be, can compete. You feel good better than ever, the beautiful mountain gives you strength. Oh shit. I continue to enjoy the view, I get going. I block in, I get going, and we don't have time for this shit. Leap across the rocks like a young yak. You will soon reach your goal. Your stomach rumbles. It doesn't stop you. On and on, faster, faster, cut your side. A cramp, a sudden stabbing pain. You stop for a moment. Nausea sets in. You barely have time to think before you vomit. Cold sweats in your bro. On your bro. You feel small and weak. Your euphoria has evaporated. Alright, everyone relax. I got this. I just have to think of the optimal route here. Alright, we gotta go down to the tent here. Go, 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 go. Forget about this super sun, alright? It's not worth it. I need to get under 6,000 meters so that I don't need oxygen. It's the only way. We can come back. You're overcome by sting and very pain. How long can you keep going in this height? I don't know. Go. Down. We're almost down. We're almost there. It's winnable, chat. I know it is. I know it's winnable. Chest pain. Alright, I get it. I'm losing health at a rapid fucking peso. 
6,100. 6,000. We're dropping under. 6,016. You kidding me? You absolutely kidding me? I need something. I need something amazing. I have to. Kidding. And you get a light pad and a message for moving. That doesn't help me. Sleeping doesn't help me. Does it help me? I don't think it helps. Whenever you reach a POI, gain some energy. Yeah, maybe I could have had that right before. Increase maximum oxygen. Maybe this helps retroactively? It doesn't. Now what? We needed to get, go down 16 meters. Is this a joke? Is this a fucking yolk? I'm dead. I'm absolutely dead. Yes, the mountains are very beautiful, but I have to get going. Leap across a fucking... Okay, I get fucking cancer again. I have one, I have 0 0.2 out of 30 health. I think it's doable. I'm still at this fucking altitude, dude. You better not fucking fuck me here. Hello dear, one, one for some hot tub stream viewers, for the ladies question mark smirk face. Hello there, one plus one equals for some hot tub stream please, for the ladies question mark smirk uh, face. Uh, yeah, sure, on my sub only stream I do uh, hot tub streams every other weekend. Uh, that's why we have the force and hot tub remote. But uh, yeah, I don't want to give the plebs the uh, the privilege, you know how it is. They become obsessed with my eight pack. True story. Thank you very much, Donk Oil Princess for the fifty. Very generous. Well, I think we're dead. Unfortunately, we got really lucky. We were right there. I should have taken the sun event, shouldn't I? But I just wanted to get under 6,000 altitude. Unlucky. Cool little game. Cool little game. But uh, too many repeated events. Uh, they don't have enough variety of events and such. 